Yo, what is up, bros? We are back with the World War One mod, fresh off the Qing Dynasty takeover of Asia. I wanted to check out this uh, 1917 conquest real quick, um, and I've came up with the perfect idea. Imagine if you will, it's late war, World War One, and Manstein, um, coming up through the ranks of the German army, has convinced the Kaiser of this thing that later on during World War II will be known as the Meinstein Plan. Except this time he's launching it during World War I. He's talked the Kaiser into it. The Kaiser has bought it. Okay, but instead of Panzers, it's going to be armored trains. With unprecedented artillery backup. And um, so yeah, just imagine little busy ass German soldiers being shot at while laying train tracks to keep the trains up front. This is like a, this is Blitzkrieg, but with trains. And the first part of the plan, which is a little bit of switch up from World War II, he decided to fall back. Make the allies think that they have no fighting capacity left. Draw them back up into the lowlands and then launch the major assault from the Ardennes. Or as close to the Ardennes as we can get with this map. I like the idea. I'm going with the idea. We just gotta get the armored trains up front. Oh, we do, we will have one tank. I'll take that back. It's just not, it's just not solely armored trains. Um, uh, I'm trying to, f I, Kaiser's, yeah, Kaiser's infantry, uh, yeah, I guess we can use Manfred on an armored train, and, um, uh, we need to build more armored trains. You know, we'll just throw down everybody we got on an armor train, even if they're not good at it or not. We need to get some of this crap out of here. There's too much crap. See, we're, we're, we're shelling them, but they, they think it's coming from the north. As the German... As the German army is falling back. See, that's part of the deploy. The deploy is going to work out perfectly, I think. They're going to see Germans falling back in the north. They're going to be like, oh, we finally got them. They're probably about to, you know, they're ready to sign an armistice. Let's do this. Isn't there a... I was, yeah, we need... Um, you know what? We will put the Kaiser on the machine gunner. Since I learned the machine gun is the counter to the artillery, pretty much. And uh, I guess we will let this Von Mackensen handle the Romanians. Damn, that bro has a lot of health. We're probably going to have to build some good artillery. And unfortunately, the only place we're going to be pulling good artillery out of is Berlin. You know, you are not, you guys are not part of the Mainstein plan. Everything else can go to the Romanian front and the Ukrainian front. The Ukrainian slash Romanian front. This, this little group right here will be reinforcements, cannon fodder just in case something goes wrong. In case the Manstein plan doesn't work out the way it's supposed to. Right, so as soon as as soon as we get them pulled up here, and the trap is set, we'll go ahead and launch this attack. Comrade, our goal is to capture, defeat the White Russian army. Well then go do it. Why are you telling me about it? 
Look, they've already fallen into the trap with their little their little whippet tanks. Holy crap. Did you just see all the US troops come in? Week number two. Alright, maybe we're okay, that's good enough. We pulled them up, right? We're not gonna be able to wait too long. The trap has been set. The Mainsteins have been laid. The little German soldiers have been busy out on the front. Laying railroad tracks at night. Massive breakthrough has commenced. The Allies don't know what hit them. They've never seen. They've never seen an attack led by armored trains via secretly laid railroad tracks at night. This is new to them, as it is to most people. This is new warfare we're looking at here right now. This is indeed... Okay, Kaiser's going to hold off the Italians. He can probably do that on his own. We're going to need an Italian holding force, I think. And then Southern von Machenschen must hold Bucharest. It doesn't look too good down here, does it? Um, like tier two machine gun, I guess. Everybody who is not part of the World War One armored train Manstein plan. You drive southeast. We must wreck the conqueror. He may be on to the Mainstein plan. Uh, we're going to go a tier three. Oh shit. Hold on, it said at the first you could only put down four generals, but then... I mean, that's where the only four German generals anyways, so it's not that big a deal. A fighting retreat, guys! They still think we're retreating! They still think that they have got the upper hand on the German army. We've got them! They are heard saying, cheering in the streets of Paris and London. That the Germans are falling back. The word hasn't arrived from down here yet to Paris that a major offensive has commenced. Our plan worked, but we need to be careful of the Bolshevik threat. Commander, we should take down the Bolshevik before the war ends. Bruh. We got the Manstein plan to finish. Uh, what happened? You're only supposed to pretend to fall back. We've busted through. Somebody screwed up along the way. I don't know who it was, but that was supposed to just be... You weren't really supposed to let them take Brussels. That was pretend. Now we gotta move back up and hit him with artillery. Not good, bros. You screwed up already. And now units are being sacrificed. We may need the Kaiser. You, you guys are just going to have to hold this southern front with Italy by yourself. We need the Kaiser. You guys can have this armor train. Kill 
Come on, bros. It appears like the Ukrainian front has been busted through. But I think we're going to be battling it out with these Romanian generals for a while. Oh, damn, there's a... Hold on a sec. There's three. Holy two... Hundred damage? What? Uh, well... We're gonna lose Bucharest. Yeah, that's a big rip on that. Come on, we gotta keep the Mainstein plan going. Manstein plan so far. Word is, I think word has reached Paris by this time. That something, something strange is going on. Week four, but actually only week three of the Ardennes offensive. This kind of just, damn it. This kind of just got started. Oh, bro. Beautiful. Oh, my God. It's just... How... How did the Mainstein plan work so perfect? Now, it's... Now, you know, because of the placement of the troops starting out, it's swinging a lot more... Um, than the World War II version. But we're okay with that. You know what, I'm gonna need a general to come down here probably besides just Mackinson. If we're gonna hold, if I can wreck these generals real quick. Um, we can send the general back to the Mainstein plan. Um, who do we want though? Below, I think I'm just, maybe we'll just send the armored train. Maybe that's good enough. Maybe we won't need the general. This is just... No... No one thought the Ardennes were, were... Like, you could... Just lay... A huge railway... Uh, railway network overnight. Through the Ardennes. Mainstein did it. Thought to be impassable by German armor trains. The key to this Manstein plan is to keep making the Allies think that they're winning. That they're that they're just about to get this major breakthrough, right? So they're not gonna defend this because they're thinking, oh, just just send everything we got to the north because we'll make a run on Berlin. Little do they know, Germany's already got the artillery set up to turn them back. And not to mention, reinforcements at Hamburg. Bring it. Week number five. And this could be the week that the Mainstein plan really pays off. I have noticed one thing that needs to be tweaked. The, uh... I guess the heavy tanks of World War One. If you're calling, like, the Whippet tanks the light tanks, this needs assault on it. Oh! Boom! Paris Falls. Damn near forgot.
Well, you know what? I would say that this was a completely 100% effective Manstein plan. And now you know what? You don't have to pretend anymore. Now the Germans can relaunch the attack in the lowlands. Go back to the old Schleifen pan. See, they just weren't ready. They, they fell right into the trap. And now look at them. They're screwed. What are the Western Allies going to do? Nothing. They can't do anything. They're done. Now this down here is a little bit more interesting. Boom! Kiev falls! On every front. Germany is making headway. Why? It's the Manstein plan. It worked out so perfectly. Week six. So basically, what we have learned is if Germany wanted to win World War One. They needed the Mainstein plan earlier than coming from World War II, and they also needed to swing further west. They needed a wide swinging Mainstein plan. I'm telling you, guys, the, uh,. The machine gunners are a good counter to artillery and armor. The machine gun crews are pretty OP. Hold on, what's their price? So you can get a tier two for 680. Uh, yeah, I'd still say the best price is armored trains, tier two. Spam the crap out of them. Look at this. The Italians beat back. Now we're coming in hard. Budapest captured. You know, we might need light artillery because they have this 65% uh, chance to disable the enemy from fighting back. We might need that down here for these generals for a while. The Romanians are being held off for the time being. France is completely in chaos at this point. They have no idea what to do. They've been completely outmaneuvered. And then in comes... In comes reinforcements. Week number seven. Uh, I'm trying to think here. Do I want to go for units or go for cities? Thank you. 
Um, maybe I'll split the difference. Armored train, you can go for units. Mackinson can go for cities. I mean, have you ever seen such a successful attack in all your life? Such a misdirection? The allies probably still don't know what's going on. We're probably still having problems comprehending exactly what had happened. Like, where did it go? Where did it all go wrong? went wrong when you pissed off Mackinson. It went wrong when you challenged Meinstein. All right, we've almost got one, one, one Romanian general down. Boom! Romania goes down. Hey, and then guess what? No Romanian generals left. All right, bros. Romania has been bested. France is in complete chaos. Italy's just like following the French soldiers around wondering what the hell they should do. And the British are just like... Whose, whose idea was it to charge in to the lowlands and think that the Germans were retreating. And I think that's where we're going to leave off. If you are enjoying this content, you know what to do. Stop the like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you back here for our next upload. Peace. Bruminati out.